And then there's vitamin D. One recent report presented at the American Association for Cancer Research found an increased vitamin D intake related to as much as a 50% decrease in developing breast cancer. Vitamin D may also improve survival rates in lung cancer patients too. A Harvard study found that patients with the highest amount of vitamin D intake had a 56% five-year survival rate. Those with the lowest vitamin D intakes only had a 23% survival rate. Vitamin D may also help prevent pancreatic cancer too. A study compared pancreatic cancer rates between people who consume the most vitamin D to those who consume the least. Those with the high intake of vitamin D had about a 40% lower rate of pancreatic cancer compared to those with the smallest intake. And a review of 63 observational studies on vitamin D and cancer says that taking in 1,000 international units of vitamin D per day may also reduce the risk of breast, ovarian, colon, possibly prostate cancers too. That's a lot more at 1,000 international units than most Americans are getting, but it's still well within the safe range. One way that vitamin D may work against cancer is by slowing down the growth of the new blood vessels that feed the tumor. To get 1,000 international units of vitamin D every day, you'll probably need to take a supplement. And make sure it's vitamin D3. And by the way, if you'd like to know how you can dramatically decrease your chances of ever having a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, you may want to click on the link below for my new book, The Enemy Within. It's just $20 and shipping is free. Until next time, I'm David Mines, and I'll see you then.